Then we have Central Perks. <laughs> Central Perks, I get it. Hey everyone, this is Zotekas and I'm back with yet another playthrough of a button shy game um, and today I will play Sprawlopolis. Um, I will play the solo version to show you how it works, but the solo version is pretty much um, identical almost at least to the multiplayer version, since that is a cooperative game. I also have the Beaches expansion, I will not play with that today. If you would like to see a playthrough with the Beaches expansion, let me know, then I will record such a video soon. Alright, and before I will start the game, let me just quickly set it up. And like with most button shy games, that's already the setup, pretty simple. So let me just draw three cards. Oh, I should maybe put them the other way. <laughs> All right. So um, how the game works is pretty simple. We have three goals here that we need to reach. And also we have a lot of different cards that we can use to build out our city. We always have four different kinds of district that we can build. We have the commercial district with is blue, the park that is green, industrial gray, and residential is orange. And we always put a card down like this, for example, and then we can add another card to that. We can only pay horizontal, so not vertical. And also it needs to touch some part of another card. We can put it like halfway like this or complete like this, just any way we want to. And also we can cover the cards, but we cannot tuck them under any cards. And that's the placement rules. At the end, we will get points for these goals over here that we drew randomly. And also we will get points for the largest cluster of each district and one point for each of these areas. For example, if I had it like this, I would have like a, the biggest park area would be three and the biggest residential area would be two. So that's three points, two points and so on. And also we will get deducted one point for each street. In this example, for example, we would have one street here, one street there, and one street there. That would be three negative points. Um, all right, and that is pretty much how the game works. So um, let's take a look at our goals and then we can get started. So we have looping lanes. We get one point per road section in a completed loop. So just, yeah, just loops. Okay, then we have get one point for each two road sections, part of my longest road, okay. So we could kind of mitigate the negative points we get for roads with these these two cards. Then we have central perks, <laughs> central perks, I get it. Um, one point per park block located on the interior on the city and minus two points for each park block on the edge of the city. All right, so try not to get any parks at the edge of the city. So how do we win the game? Well, you see these numbers here in the top left of our three goals that we drew. You see, you see them right there. Um, so that's 14. 26 added together that's 33 points and so we need to equal or exceed 33 points when tallying up our points at the end to win the game so we this time we don't have an ai or anything we just need to try to exceed this amount of points all right so let's get started um so we can take a look at our cards here but i think i will do it relatively simple i will put one card over here for now and then we will just draw another card and we will continue this way and i think i mean mostly we need to try to of course get large districts but the most important thing is to get one long road and to have a few loops so what i'm going to do i'll put that card over here so we could maybe start with one loop down here and also we would have a long road the beginning of a long road at least okay so let's see oh look at this this is cool i like that one um because if we put it here then we would have an even longer road we just need to close off these parks we don't want them at the edge of the city okay so let's see this could extend our city even further but we would add another road here but if we did it like this then we would have a larger park and we would start closing that loop and maybe we can loop around with that street over here that'd be great okay so we could actually loop around here you see that is pretty much perfect isn't it because now we have a really long road and each two of these give me one point at the end so that's already five points 
that's pretty cool. Okay, so let's get another card. But you would have to need to work on bit better, bigger districts because we only have two blue, two orange, two gray, and but four parks at least. That's not bad. Okay, so can we close up that loop here? Not with that card. We could close it off with this card, but it wouldn't help us in any way here. And also the street isn't perfect. So I would rather not do that. I can't close up the loop with this card here. Hmm. Well, I don't like all of these too much, to be honest. I don't like those too much. So you know what? I'm going to close up that loop anyway, because that's important. Because that would be another four points, which is not bad, which is almost a third of that card. Okay. Oh, no, wait. But then we couldn't... Well, we can still close up that loop here. Well, that's something we could also do. What if we just build over here someplace? Well, you know what? Look at this. This wouldn't be a loop, but it would be a longer street here too, right? And maybe we could close up that loop at some point later on. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build over that for now here. Okay, so what else can we do? So we need to be careful to have these parks not at the edge of the city later on. Um, hmm. So, um, well, this wouldn't be too bad either, maybe. So we would have, hmm, we could close off that loop later on a little bit easier. So let me put that over here like this yeah well maybe we could even connect these two at some point that'd be cool right okay so we also want these parks in our city so let's see if we can do that um, we definitely need more like small parks now so can we how could we we would need a road that goes like this here do we have anything like that what about this one this doesn't work right no that doesn't work no that doesn't work but that would work over here and we would have the park inside here um what if we do it like this well a longer road is good you would we want a long road you see i'm not I'm mostly putting the card beside each other because I want that long road, right? <laughs> so that's one thing I'm trying to do at the moment. And I think that's pretty cool. Okay. And you see, we don't have a whole lot of cards left. We only have four cards left plus these three. That's seven cards. So let's see what we can, what we can do there. There will be another park. Um, if we put it here, that's not going to help us too much. So let's see if we can extend that first. Like this, maybe. Maybe like this or like this. Well, how about like this here? Because then we would also continue that street here. I think that's not the worst idea. Okay. I don't know if that's a good idea, but let's just try that. Okay. And then, hmm, we could go here like this maybe because then we would have like one really long road and then now we can try to work on more parks inside of the city let's try that um also i would like to have a longer road here maybe have some the district here like this well hmm yeah well 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 i'm not sure because we don't need that park there it's just we just need any parks inside of the city so maybe okay there we would have another park but we would have another road also we don't want that we don't want another road i would like another loop also what if we did it like this let's do it like this and then the next card either this one here or this one well, with this one, we would have a park at the out, on the outside again. We would have to close that off, right? So that's a little bit dangerous. So this one would be a little bit better, I think. So we would have one loop here. And that's a big loop. That's two, four, six. That would be eight points. That's not 
that's not really bad. All right, and we got our last three cards here. And I just see you can't really see that too well. So let me just move everything up there carefully like this. All right, like this, it works well. Okay, last three cards. So let's try to close off that here. Can we do that? We could do that somehow, but well, could we do that? Well, we could do it like this, right? We could do it like this, and then we would have a very long road. That's not a bad idea. Let me do that. So, and now let's see. Either we close off that here for a loop, or we do something maybe over here. Over there, we can't do much. Um, we need to close off that part, because that's going to give us minus two points. We don't want that. And maybe we can also have an additional park in the city someplace. So let's see what we can do. Um, that's just gonna add another road. We don't want that. No, that's, all of that is not gonna really help us. What can we do here? Well, these are pretty much identical. Oh, these are identical, except for the blocks. I see. There isn't a whole lot. I think we can only close off that park here now because we can't do anything here either. We're just going to destroy all the roads we build. Because we can't combine these two in a meaningful way, I think. Well, actually, we could do it this way, that we only add one, one of these cards, but we would have a park here at the end. So it's better to add one more road instead of having that park, probably. So let's see if we can do anything like that. So maybe like this and like that maybe. Yeah, we would have two extra roads, but we would also have extra parks. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, and that'll be all. Let me get something to write here. And now we do several things. So first, let us move everything up here like this. Let me quickly fix all of that. All right, so now we have some room to write here. And then our target score is, what did I say? 33. 33 is our target score. And now we calculate everything together. So first of all, let us do the goals here. We get one point road section in a completed loop. We only have one completed loop. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points. That's eight points. Then for every two road sections for the longest road, the longest road definitely is that one here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. That is 12 points. And then we get one point for each park block in the interior of the city. That's one, two, three, four, five. That's another five points and minus two for each power block at the edge, that's not the case. This one is not at the edge because only orthogonally. Okay, so we have 25 points, so we need eight more points. So we could be able to make that. Then we will deduct, well, let's do that. That's 25 points. Then we deduct points for each road. That's one, two, three, four, five roads. So minus five points. So we are at 20. Oh, we need 13. That's going to be, that's going to be difficult. So let's first go with the blue districts. The largest one we have is here three and there are also three. So that's three points. Then the gray district, the largest one is also three points here. That's plus three. And then we have the orange one. The largest one is here. The residential is only plus two. And then the largest park is plus five. So that's five, seven, 10, 13. <laughs> See that? It's exactly 33 if I didn't make a mistake. So <laughs> that was really close, but we were actually able to beat a uh, to equal that target score, and that's all we need. That's definitely all we need. We don't need to exceed it. Just having an equal score is enough. 
Um, so let me see, 20, 25, my time is 20, 23, 26, 20, yeah, that's 33. So we actually won the game, but it was really close, just one point less and we would have made it. So I think it was pretty good in the at the end to include that park here and not go for the other option I first opted for because that could have been maybe a little bit more difficult. But hey, there we go. So we actually won the game. So thank you very much for watching. That concludes my playthrough of Sprolopolis as mentioned in the beginning. If you would like to see another playthrough with the Beaches expansion, let me know. Um, and also let me know if you own the game and how you like the game. I like it quite a lot. But I need to be honest, this is not my most favorite button shake game. This game is quite prone to analysis paralysis and I'm not um, I'm not that kind of player who, who enjoys thinking minutes for one move. Um, I don't like that too much. I like to be a little bit more fluent and to be able to act faster a little bit. So Sparoplitz is a nice game for in between, but if I really want to play a solo game that I enjoy more that I would rather play Tussie Mossy or also Death Valley. These are two solo games I enjoy more, to be honest. But Spolobolus is a very solid game um, and it's nice that you can also play it with, I think, up to four players. All right, then. Thank you very much for watching. I highly appreciate that. And why don't you stop by my channel and see if you find any other videos you like. There are also other button shy games, Kickstarter previews, reviews, a lot of playthroughs. So there is a lot of things you can discover there. It'd be great to see you there. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video, hopefully. And I wish you all a good day. All right. Take care, everyone. And cheers.